Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, we got our hands on to Nothing OS 2.0 for Nothing Phone 1. It's a leaked file, so I don't recommend anyone to flash. I gave it a try to see what's new we get to see on Nothing Phone 1 with Nothing OS 2.0. So let's talk about all the changes what Nothing OS 2.0 brings on the table for Nothing Phone 1. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you can see I have my Nothing Phone 1. If I show you the software information by going to about section, here you can see Nothing OS version says 2.0.2. So this is a similar version what we have on Nothing Phone 2. Here you can see towards the left hand side, I have my Nothing Phone 2, which is also running on Nothing OS 2.0.2 about section layout is also completely same we'll keep nothing phone 2 as a reference to compare the features and the similarities between nothing phone 1 and nothing phone 2 if you go to android version android version is 13 with this particular update we get 1st august 2023 security patch and i'm hoping the exact similar build will be rolled out to us via over the air the version should be 2.0.2 and if you guys still want to install it's a quite simple process. You just have to download the file and place it inside the internal storage. You first need to create a folder called OTA. As you can see here, I created this folder in the night and I had placed the file over here. Once you do that, you just have to dial star hash star hash 682 hash star hash star. This will open the nothing offline updater and from here you can select the file and install it. But as said, it's a leaked file and I don't recommend anyone to flash it on their primary phone. And soon you complete the installation process, you'll be welcomed with this message which says try the new nothing style. Once you tap on update home screen, this will give you a similar layout which is being displayed on the screen. And guys now before moving ahead, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing. So there are many Changes, what you guys will see with nothing OS 2.0 first one let's talk about the lock screen customization so here you can see now we have the ability to add the lock screen shortcuts total number of eight shortcuts you can add and you'll also have this color segregation for example you can see Wi-Fi is enabled so the Wi-Fi tile or the shortcut appears in red color if I turn it off this will change the color to white you can make the changes in the lock screen settings here you can see we have the lock screen widget option and from here you can select multiple widgets as said total number of eight widgets you can add but these smaller ones if you add a bigger one which takes up the space of two widgets and there are other widgets which takes the space of four widgets so we have this quick setting widgets and which are very useful so for example if i select the rounded widget you can select any setting for that particular quick setting widget so for example i'll select glyph and here you can see this will appear on the lock screen now we have added two widgets and they have taken the entire space of those small eight widgets and this is how it's going to look if i turn off the glyph light you can see the color turns into white and if i turn it on it turns into red color also when we talk about the lock screen we have the option to set lock screen shortcuts with a new ui and here you can see the lock screen shortcuts too now talking about the home screen as i said you can keep your home screen minimalistic with these new widgets you also have the ability to enlarge the app icon which you can see here i have done it and the same quick setting widgets can also be added on the home screen too if you want to add these quick setting tiles widgets just long press go to widget section tap on nothing widgets scroll down and here you can see we have the quick setting widgets available so let me add a widget and show you tapping on widgets so under nothing you have these widgets going to quick settings and let's add this auto rotate widget from here i'll select auto rotate the volume slider also got revamped now lines are in dotted format and the same thing goes with the brightness slider in the quick setting tiles and this is how your quick setting tiles will look now the launcher also got upgraded now the version is 2.1.3 and a lot of changes you can see in the launcher first change what you will notice whenever you long press on any of the application you'll see these two huge horizontal tiles followed by four smaller horizontal tiles but now they take the entire space whenever you long press on any of the application going inside the launcher settings so if you long press you can see we get the similar options which are home setting widgets and customization under home setting i did not notice any kind of change if you go to customization now we have a new set of wallpapers which can be found here under the nothing tab so these are the new wallpapers which you'll get to see with nothing os 2.0 for nothing phone one and the home screen layout can be set to 4 into 4 or 5 into 5 also you have the nothing icon pre-installed 
but the pre-install nothing icon pack does not support all the application so you have to update that icon pack from the play store i don't know due to some reason it wasn't coming in the play store so i had to manually sideload the apk i'll provide the apk in the description below download sci application from the play store tap on install apk select install file picker and here you can see i have the bundle package of nothing icon which is version 1.0 you just have to tap on it and you are good to go then you'll see every app will have the support of nothing icon pack now let's take a look at the changes what they have done in the settings page so here you can see the setting page layout is kind of similar what we get to see on phone 2. we have two huge style for network and internet and connected devices talking about glyph interface so here i feel some of the features are exclusive for nothing phone 2 and I doubt they'll make it on nothing phone one. First of all, if you see glyph interface, it looks kind of similar. And on phone two, you can see beside this brightness slider of glyph, we also have an option of automatic brightness which isn't present on phone one with nothing os 2.0 but there are still three levels of brightness adjustment for the glyph light and if you scroll down we have flip to glyph glyph timer seems to be exclusive for nothing phone 2 you can see that option is not present on nothing phone one but we get to see nothing composer on both the phones and also we have the swedish house mafia ringtones available on nothing phone one also and when it comes to glyph composer you can make your own ringtones share it with your friends and if your friends have already made some ringtones using this glyph composer you can also ask them to share so here you can see we have an option called share and you can share your custom ringtones with your friends having nothing phone one or nothing phone two there are two exclusive things which are only available on nothing phone two one of them is this glyph progress which supports applications like uber and the second one is glyph timer other than these two things almost similar stuff we get to see on nothing os 2.0 which is running on our nothing phone one so another thing which i forgot to mention here in the quick setting tiles if you single tap on the torch you'll see the flashlight in action but if you long press on this torch you'll see glyph light in action on phone 2 under experimental features we have options like enhanced touch response glyph progress these two options are missing on nothing phone 1 with nothing os 2.0 we only have the option to enable airpod support so guys these were all the changes what we have seen with nothing os 2.0 for nothing phone 1 if you guys want me to do a full review let me know in the comment section below till now the os seems to be quite stable i did not face any kind of issues but still if you guys say i'll do an in-depth review so as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go.